यार मैंने ना नेट पे चेक किया मेरे को वा दोष है क्या कौन सा डोसा अरे मतलब मेरे जो सिम्टम्स है ना जैसे गैस ब्लोटिंग हेड एक होना ये सब वात इम्बेलेंस होने से होते हैं oh, no. और एक बार अगर वात को बैलेंस कर लिया ना तो ये सब सिम्टम अपने आप ठीक होने लगते हैं ओए चुपचाप काम कर ले अगर आज ये काम कंप्लीट नहीं हुआ ना तो वात का तो पता नहीं लेकिन बॉस कल अपनी वाट जरूर लगा देगा वात दो If you often suffer from gas, bloating, body pains, irregular periods, overthinking, dryness and discoloration of skin, hair, be sure that your vata dosha is imbalanced. In this video, I will share with you the most effective ways to resolve all these problems from their very root cause. So without any further delay, let's get started. Hello friends welcome to Fit Tuber. Vata is the most important of the three doshas that is responsible for all physical processes in general. When we say vata three words should strike you dry, cold and light. So when vat dosha gets imbalanced it causes indigestion. Problems like gas and bloating turn up. It gets hard to gain weight. The skin tends to be too dry, hair gets rough and light. Problems like dry eyes, chapped lips, cracked feet crop up. Even anxiety, depressive thoughts, weak memory and overthinking, chattering mind are an indication of dryness in the brain nerves. Any kind of body pains, vata is the force behind it. Pigmentation and discoloration of skin, shivering, irregular periods, kidney and gallbladder stones are all vata disorders but what causes vata imbalance in the first place people who chuck the oils completely out of their life and indulge mostly in oilless foods eat a lot of raw fruits and vegetables indulge in unsoaked nuts and seeds consider spices to be their villains invite vata problems apart from this never oiling the head traveling a lot eating at irregular timings long fasts high intake of tannin and caffeine talking too much overthinking sleeping too little exposure to cold environments can cause vata to aggravate so how can vata dosha be balanced since vata is dry cold and light the opposite of it will balance it just as a machine needs oiling for proper functioning our body is a machinery that requires lubrication too warm oil is something which is heavy heating and obviously oily making it a potent tool for pacifying vata ayurvedic scriptures list out some easy and effective effective ways to balance vata dosha at home on top of the list is abhyang that is self massage when we oil massage the body it not only gets much needed lubrication but also the heat generated in the process balances the cold nature of vata so if you suffer from vata problems you should oil massage your body daily or a minimum 3 to 4 times a week you can massage in the morning before bathing or in the evening whatever is comfortable to you cold pressed sesame oil is the best for you mustard oil can also be used it is advised to massage towards the flow of your heart spending 10 minutes is good enough it will balance the vata and as a result you will get soft and lustrous skin another practice that balances vata internally is gandush or oil pulling as it is popularly called fill your mouth with sesame or mustard oil and swish it in and around the mouth for at least 10 minutes to save time you can combine it with your other daily activities such a rewarding practice it not just lubricates the food pipe but also whitens the teeth makes lips pink and reduces face wrinkles the third is orifice oiling another powerful practice for vata balancing every time after bathing take some sesame or mustard oil and using your fingers oil your navel both your nostrils both your ears and also oil your anus This lubricates the major openings in the body removing the excess air trapped. If you suffer from problems of the mind like anxiety, depression or OCD, you should practice nasya before going to sleep at night. Nasa hi shirsho dwaram. This shlok from Ayurvedic scriptures states that nostrils are the door for the brain. Putting in 2 to 2 drops of cow ghee or any other medicinal oil lubricates the nerves in the brain which can prove wonderful while dealing with mental issues. Food is medicine, rightly so. If you just eat right, you can keep your doshas in balance. Sweet, salty and sour foods help balance the vata dosha. 
So make sure you don't shy away from indulging in homemade sweets prepared with ghee and jaggery powder. On the other hand, bitter, astringent and pungent tasting foods aggravate vata. Spices as they ignite the digestive fire are your best friends, especially black pepper, cumin, bay leaves, asafoetida, black cardamom, chilies and ginger. Include desi A2 milk and milk products as they provide the much needed lubrication to your body. In fact, milk with a teaspoon of ghee mixed is a boon for vata disorders like joint pain and body dryness. Since vatas have weak digestion, eating after sunset may cause indigestion and gas issues. If you however choose to eat, start with slices of fresh ginger with a pinch of rock salt and lemon juice and also make sure you keep the portion size of your meals according to your own digestive capacity. Khichdi prepared using equal quantities of hand pounded rice and whole moong dal with a teaspoon of ghee into it is one of the best meals for you. Relish it often. Raw foods, salads, green leafy vegetables, kidney beans, cauliflowers, peas, potatoes and mushrooms tend to aggravate vata and hence should be consumed in moderation. Cold drinks should be cut down. Rather warming and grounding herbal teas, soups, besan chila, besan shira and milk talia are ideal for you. Masala chas or buttermilk post lunch helps keep vata in check. Ditch refrigerated foods and eat freshly prepared meals using ingredients which are in season. In a nutshell, vata remains specified when you follow a fairly fixed routine every day. Sleeping well on time is crucial as it keeps the active and mobile nature of vata balanced. Exercise such as strength building, sports with slow directed movement specify vata. Overexertion is to be avoided. Yoga practice is especially helpful to keep overexcited vata in check. Probably the most effective pranayam for vata is the anulom vilom which keeps them calm and grounded. Pavan muktasana or the gas release pose removes excess air from the body. In general, if you suffer from vata disorders, you should practice yoga asanas slowly and gently. Meditation is another highly recommended practice for vata. Sitting in sunlight for some time will keep your body warm, digestion up and body pains at bay. If we sum up, vata is dry, cold and light. So to balance it, oil massaging the body, oil pulling, orifice oiling, nasya are the best practices. Indulge more in sweet, salty and sour foods. Reduce the intake of bitter, pungent and astringent foods. Include milk and milk products. Reduce leafy vegetables and cold drinks. Warm drinking water, teas, soups, basin-based foods and khichdi are recommended. Exercise should not be too exhaustive. Yoga and meditation help pacify vata. Sleep well and on time. If you include the above practices as a part of your lifestyle, you will see your digestive problems subside, body pains will reduce, periods will get regular again, weight will normalize, memory will sharpen, skin will radiate, hair will get shiny, and your mind will experience a sense of calm and body enthusiasm. That's the power of balancing vata dosha. Did you find this video helpful? Would you like to see a similar video about Kaf Dosha? Do let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. Looking for genuine peanut butter in the Indian market? Check out My Fitness Natural Peanut Butter. Go through its ingredients. It has only one ingredient that is 100% roasted peanuts. No hydrogenated oils, sugar, preservatives or artificial flavors. A good source of healthy fats, peanut butter can be a great addition to your diet. You can use it to make peanut banana roti, top it over fruit chart, add it to shakes or have it just like that. My Fitness claims that this is the first peanut butter in India with 95% less oil separation. To buy My Fitness 100% natural peanut butter, click on the link down in the description box. Do not forget to apply the special discount coupon to get an additional 10% off. So friends, that's all for this video. You can now support my work by clicking on the join button below. Please do remember to subscribe to my channel, hit that bell icon so that you never miss a video from me. You can also follow me on Instagram. My name is Vivek. I thank you so much for watching.